with the stack them or on go, I take that, I take that into account with it. And so I take a one oh approach about everything. So when we go into meetings, I take a one oh approach. You go on the field, I take a one oh approach and I say the biggest thing is that I'm having fun with, I'm laughing all the time. Uh, when I'm outside, I enjoy I enjoy practice, I enjoy every drill, and I enjoy every meeting. So Sometimes you lose tra lose sight that it's still a game and you gotta have fun first, right? Yep, that's the biggest thing I say. If you wanna be successful, you gotta have fun with it. Like, uh, if you don't, you won't get in your own head and you don't want that. So. Looking back, how did you get your start in football? I mean, what was it that got you got into the game? Uh, my dad, so four years old, I wasn't doing nothing. Just chilling at the crib. So he took me out to um, flag football. So I've been playing since I was four. And then I slowly started to love it. You know, I love hitting people. You know, so um, when I got into sixth grade, I went into tackle. And then when I went into high school is when I really got serious about it. So It's not yeah. as fun when you're the guy getting tackled versus the guy tackling, right? That's why I don't play running back. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that really a reason why people sometimes like, eh, offense might not be for me. I'd rather hit somebody. That's my reason. So, uh, yeah, I'll try running back. Got hit, didn't like it. I uh, realized that it was more fun to hit people. So, yeah. <laughs> Playing linebacker, I mean, you're right there in the middle. I mean, you think of all the big time linebackers that people remember. Who's kind of your, like, ultimate linebacker that you just, like, he's the best? Obviously, Ray Lewis. I, I take a, a lot of my game from him. It's his intensity with him and Ed Reed. Uh, me and my roommate, Tristan Hines, because he plays safety, we watch them a lot and see the way they watch film, the way they approach, um, the approach the game. So him, I say him, I say uh, Lou Keekly, because just his smarts, his IQ, and those two right there. You got your sack dance prepared for to show Ray, hey, I, I can do it too? I just, I just do anything, really. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you got to wait and see. I, I asked somebody earlier, but having as a guy who didn't play football, I mean, I was a baseball guy, what's it like to sack somebody? Oh, man, it's amazing. <laughs> it's just, uh, you hear the noise before they play? I'm going to give you the pregame, so it's like, you know, before the uh, snap, you just like, okay, it's third and ten. You like, oh, I gotta get back there. You got this move, you got this move prepared, and the move work, you just, oh man, it's just a feeling of dopamine just running through your veins. And then once you tackle them, a sack them, you just hit a noise, the court, the crowd go rawr and all that. And it's just, man, your blood pumping. That's why sometimes when people do prepare uh, sack dances, they don't do it. Cause it's like, man, your adrenaline rushes so bad right. you don't know what to do. So I don't got no sack dance. I just do whatever uh, comes to my mind. So you're going to see anything. You might see a split. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> How do you get yourself prepared for a game mentally? Are you a guy that wants to listen to music? Are you a guy that's more in the corner with the meditation? How, how, what, how's your game? Um, well, it goes with first I meditate. So um, I like to say it starts in the beginning of the week. So I like to prepare myself with meditate first every day, stretch watch film, but we're talking about during game day. Uh, yeah, I meditate first so I can visualize myself making plays, um, visualize pregame, going in there stretching and visualize after. I like to visualize all of that. And then, like I said, I do stretch on game day. And after that, I put on some music, probably put on some um, R&B, which is weird, just to soothe the soul, you feel me? So I won't be hyped up. I'm just really relaxing, you know, so because I already prepared throughout the week. And yeah, just ready for uh, game day. Who's your R&B artist that you're turning on? Uh, it's a lot. Uh, Jodeci, Brent Fayez. Um, let's see. Who else? Who else was it? It's like old school R&B. Marvin Gaye. Okay. Yeah, I love Marvin Gaye. Michael Jackson, even though that's pop. Uh, um, yeah, it's more. It's more like I got. I don't remember it. <laughs> It's on a playlist. Like, yeah. If you want to know my playlist, man, just hit me up on Instagram. <laughs> As a student athlete, how has, has, how has football made you a better person? Um, uh, football, I say it just taught me, it taught me how to prepare for a lot of stuff. It taught me how to work hard. It taught me how to, um, not only how to work hard, but how to work efficient. So I say even like, if, especially in college, when I first came here, I thought I worked hard enough until I seen other people, like people above me, like Terry Myrick, or to ran rush, and but then they taught me. They put me under their wing. They taught me this is how you do stuff. This is how you um, prepare for things. So I say it just like taught me how to be a better man, be a better leader, and throughout life or whatever I do after this. You've seen you, your linebacker room has flipped in a lot of ways. I mean, Terry was there. Now you're bringing Chase and Joe in. You've still got you got you and Tariq. But 
What's the, the linebacker room like? I mean, what's the, the breakdown? You guys like have, have a little fun or what's? Uh, all what's... we do is have fun, right? Uh, I mean, we, uh, we all prepare. You know, we all challenge ourselves to be better, which I say, I say this is the best linebacker room that EMU had because we were all just challenging ourselves. And Coach Nethery, uh, he prepared us a lot, even with me throughout the years that I've been here. And um, we just all click together. It's just a good chemistry, you know? You, you would think that since they come in, it would be hate and all that, but no, nah, when they first came in, it was just like brothers. I even picked up Joe uh, from the airport, and I, I love Joe, don't tell nobody, he's my favorite linebacker. <laughs> and then, well, yeah, it's just a brotherhood, really. Coach Nethery is kind of, he loves himself some barbecue, he loves his truck. What's the best thing about Coach Nethery? Steak. <laughs> uh, I mean, that man can cook, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, man. I can't wait to go to this house again and eat some more steak. But uh, I say Coach Nethery, um, just the way he prepared me to be a linebacker. So before this in high school, I was a DN, a D tackle. So basically, when I came here, Coach Nethery taught me how to be a linebacker. He taught me footwork. And he taught me how to watch film. So uh, I say the way he yeah, taught me how to be a linebacker, but the other best thing about him is his personality. People probably don't think that he has one <laughs> uh, because he probably seems shy a little bit around the camera, but off the camera, yeah, he's a funny guy. You know, he's fun to hang around with. <laughs> what are you doing away from uh, away from football? I mean, you just mentioned steak. What, what what level of cook are we putting on the steak first off? For Coach Nelly or me? Or you. Uh, only thing I can cook is probably chicken and rice. I'm not no, I, are you a medium, medium well guy? Uh, are you straight raw, rare? Let's knock the horns off. Like, it's, a, it's a funny story behind that, actually. Um, uh, I never actually ordered a steak before I came into college. So Terry Myra brought me to like a restaurant. He helped me order my first steak, and then they asked me like how I want to cook it, and I was just like, oh, I just want to cook. I ain't know what that meant. You just said cook it. <laughs> yeah, just cook it. So then after that, he told me to get, um, he said, he said medium well, I want to say, or medium rare. It's one of those. Yeah, you like yeah. a little red. Yeah, yeah, so that's how I like my steak, medium rare. What do you do, uh, back to, what do you do away from football? How are you relaxing? I'm relaxing. Uh, just at the crib, put on my favorite movie, Love and Basketball. Love and Basketball? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of a little chick flickish, right? No, I like chick flicks, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Watch Love and Basketball, The Notebook. Notebook is a great movie. If you haven't watched it, I suggest you do. So yeah, I like to do that. Um, other than that, yeah, I just watch film and stuff like that and just get ready for football season and homework. Uh, I used to do robotics and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, other than that, just watch film, watch movies. Uh, so I'm still trying to process this a little bit, so bear with me. <laughs> so Love and Basketball yes. and The Notebook. Not exactly something you expect for a guy ready to, to rip the opposing quarterback's head off. But, like, are you a bachelor, kind of bachelor, bachelorette fan on two? How do we work this? I watched it. Wait, well, I'm not really a fan of it. And see, the trick is you got to, like, make people think you soft. So okay. then you, you know, they, they want to try to take it easy on you. Then you just... Oh, you know? Right there and grab them. <laughs> yeah, it works every time, you know. But it's two different mindsets when I'm on and off the field. When I'm off the field, I'm a fun-loving guy, you know. Like to watch romance movies, like to watch action movies, comedy, stuff like that. I'm goofy. But when I'm on the field, I'm real serious. I know my keys and I'm ready to run through somebody. So. What's your goal for this year? Oh, MAC championship, bowl game win. I want to do something that no one else ever did here. How important is it to help the senior class leave that legacy of, of that it hasn't been accomplished before? It's very important because um, since I've been here, I know how hard the senior class has been working, especially being behind guys like uh, Tariq and um, Tariq and Jose, and even before that, well, like I said before, Terran, Rush, and Terry, I wanted to do it for them. We wasn't able to get it done, but I feel like with this group that we have now, with Taylor Powell and um, Chase and Joe, that we can get it done. And I feel like I'm at the level now where I matured from my first year, and I can be a big part to help this team do that.